let's do some practice converting between kilocalories and kilojoules by doing these problems. And so the one key piece of information for doing these problems, the thing you need to know is that one kilocalorie is going to equal 4.184 kilojoules. That's how those two units relate to each other. A kilocalorie is what we see on the back of nutrition facts when it gives us calories. Those are actually kilocalories. And kilojoules are what we tend to use in science. One joule is about the energy it takes to bring a hamburger from the table to your mouth. And so a kilojoule is a thousand of those. All right. This question says an eight inch stalk of celery produces six kilocalories when burned in a calorimeter. A calorimeter is just a container that keeps heat in. It could be as simple as a styrofoam cup. And so you burn stuff in it and keep all the heat inside and measure how much the temperature goes up. And that way you can tell how much energy was in the thing you burned. So in this case, it's saying you got six kilocalories out of burning this celery. How many kilojoules is this? Okay, when you approach these questions, you always want to ask yourself, what are they giving you? And for that, you want to look for numbers. So here they're giving you six kilocalories. The second thing you want to look for is what are they asking for? And there, be, pay a special attention to the units. So they're asking how many kilojoules. They want kilojoules. So they give us kilocalories. They want kilojoules. We have to do a conversion. And so the first thing you always need when you do a conversion is a conversion factor that relates the two units. So here, how do kilocalories and kilojoules relate? Well, in every one kilocalorie, there are 4.184 kilojoules. Once you have your conversion factor, you take the number they give you. Here, that's 6 kilocalories. You write a multiplication sign, a fraction bar, and the units you start with always go on the bottom of that fraction because you want them to cancel out. Now, I'm going to fill that fraction in with my conversion factor. So next to kilocalories goes the number 1. Going over the fraction bar is like going across the equal sign, and on top we'll put 4.184 kilojoules. Kilocalories cancel, we're left with kilojoules, and when you uh, plug that into a calculator you just press 6 times 4.184, hit enter, divided by 1, hit enter, you should get 25.104, and that would be your answer for this question. B. A fast food hamburger can produce 1,130 kilocalories when burned in a calorimeter. How many kilojoules is this? So, what are they asking for? I'm sorry, what are they giving you? 1,130 kilocalories, right? That's the number that they're giving you with the units next to it. What are they asking for? How many kilojoules? So we need a conversion factor that relates those two units. How do kilocalories and kilojoules relate? In every one kilocalorie, there are 4.184 kilojoules. So then take the number they give you, here 1,130 kilocalories. Write a multiplication sign, a fraction bar. Units you start with go on the bottom of the fraction because you want them to cancel out. So here that's kilocalories. And then we're going to fill that fraction in with the conversion factor. So next to kilocalories goes the number 1. Going over the fraction bars, like going across the equal sign, and on top you'll have 4.184 kilojoules. The kilocalories cancel. We're left with kilojoules. And plugging this into a calculator, you'd put 1,130 times 4.184, enter, divided by 1, enter, you should get 4,727.92 kilojoules, and that is your answer. So after eating a hamburger, you could, you could lift that same hamburger from a table to your mouth 40, about 47,000 times. Okay. So, C, a banana produces 439.32 kilojoules when burned in a calorimeter. How many kilocalories are in one banana? So what would it say on, for, in the nutrition facts for the calories in a single banana? All right, what do they give you? Look for the numbers. Here that's 439.32 kilojoules. What are they asking for? Look for the units. That's kilocalories. So the first thing we need is a conversion factor that relates those two units. How do kilojoules and kilocalories relate? There are 4.184 kilojoules in every one kilocalorie.
Once you have your conversion factor, take the number they give you here, that's 439.32 kilojoules. Write a multiplication sign of fraction bar. Write the units you start with on the bottom of the fraction, because you want them to cancel out. So here that's kilojoules, and then fill that fraction in with your conversion factor. So next to kilojoules, we'll go 4.184. Going over the fraction bars, like going across the equal sign, and on top, you'll have one kilocalorie. Kilojoules cancel, you're left with kilocalories, and the way you'd plug this into a calculator, you'd put 434.32 times 1, enter, divided by 4.184, enter, and you should get 105 kilocalories. That's how many calories uh, with a capital C, so kilocalories, there are in a, in a banana. All right, an egg produces 326.352 kilojoules when burned in a calorimeter. How many kilocalories are in one egg? So, what are they giving you? In terms of numbers, it's 326.352 kilojoules. What are they asking for? And pay special attention to the units. How many kilocalories are in one egg? So we, the first thing we need to do this conversion is a conversion factor that relates kilojoules and kilocalories. So how do those two relate? Well, there are 4.184 kilojoules in one kilocalorie. So once you've got your conversion factor, take the number they give you, write a multiplication sign, a fraction bar, and the units you start with go on the bottom of the fraction, because you want them to cancel out. Here those are kilojoules, and then fill that fraction in with the conversion factor. So next to kilojoules, we'll go 4.184. Going over the fraction bars like going across the equal sign, and on top you'll have one kilocalorie. Kilojoules cancel, you're left with kilocalories. Plugging that into a calculator, you'd put 326.352 times 1, enter, divided by 4.184, enter, and you should get 78 kilocalories. That's your answer for this one. Thank you for your attention.